Damon, what do you make of the new defense and new coordinator? Um, he's a good dude. Uh, obviously, I played in the three four before under um, Coach Bowles and um, Coach Betch and Bowles worked together. So um, I have a lot of familiarity with the system. It's just all about reaching in that memory bank. Everything I was told to forget, I got to remember again. Damon, is too much made of the fact that you know three four four three. I mean, you're, you're multiple anyway. I mean, mm -hmm. it's too much made of the one of the yeah people? yeah. Um, obviously, in some sets, it'll be different, but it's no different for the guys in the interior. It's more so for the outline backers, outside linebackers who are still defensive ends. So, um, yeah, I mean, people. I think people just think about it too much. They put too much into it. It's, it's really no difference at all. Snacks, how would you describe the overall outlook of the team? New, new system, new coaches, a lot of new players. What's it like to be out there in this regard? I mean, obviously, it's a lot of excitement right now because it's, it's new. Everybody's. Uh, we all have to learn. It's not like we're coming back and we know everything. So everybody has their thinking caps on. And um, just knowing that we all don't know anything. So um, we still got a long way to go. But uh, you know, I like what I see from everybody so far. Morale and stuff like that? Oh, it's high. It's high. It's a new staff. You got no choice but to be happy. What's your, what's your sense of being the middle linebacker? Considering you know, you're in the middle, he's going to be right behind you. Mm -hmm. Directing things. What's your sense of his command? You can you come downhill, man. And that's uh, something you can appreciate as a, uh, as a nose tackle and a defensive tackle. That, that means those centers and those guards, they got to make decisions really fast. If not, he'll be in the defensive backfield. And um, you know, he's a smart guy. So um, now I'm, I'm, just, I'm just excited to get in the actual game with him because I know those guys on the line, they have to respect uh, what he brings to the field. So that should open up a lot for me. <laughs> Does it um, surprise you or, or uh, uh, there's a lot of enthusiasm and optimism about this team, not only outside the building, but inside of this team, uh, coming off the season that you get? No, um, because I honestly don't think we were what our record was last year. And that's, uh, I know it's tough for, to understand that. Um, going 3-13, and 13, I think what we were, um, you know, you would expect guys to come back, you know, down on themselves. And, you know, that, that was just a humbling season for everybody. So if anybody was on the high horses, they had no choice but to get down now and, and uh, get back to the drawing board and work all over again, which is a good thing to see. Damon, we often hear, you know, about the coach talking about communication, you mm -hmm. know, building relationships with the players. Have you noticed, you know, I mean, what can you say about the effort that he's made, that the assistants have made? Is it much different than what you've ever experienced? No. Um, again, that just goes back to uh, everything being new. Um, you can't you can't be out here making plays without knowing exactly what you're doing and knowing the guys on the side of you to your left, right, are behind you are doing. So, um, you know, it's very encouraging that at this point we're all forced to communicate. And um, you know, I just hope that we just bring that into the season. What about in the locker room, though? I mean, are, are guys talking more with each other? No, I wouldn't say more. It's, it's the same. We've always been uh, good with communicating in the locker room. Um, but again, everything that we do out here, we bring it into the locker room. You know, it's just, we don't just do it out here. We talk ball in the locker room. I mean, every chance we get. Damon, you, you skipped some of the voluntary practices. Was that just you taking advantage of your choice, or did you have a reason for it? I was minding my damn business. <laughs> and anybody else? What, what, what did you see from Saquon? The guy can play, man. Um, what y'all, Saquon, that's what they call him or something like that. You know, I'm just excited. I'm excited to get out, uh, get out there and run in, in training camp so I can hit his ass. You know, see, see what he made of. You know, it's, I told him it's not Penn State. Um, He's not going up against uh, Josh Banks in uh, Wake Forest. So, um, but now, nah, man, the guy's explosive. You can see how they'll use him in the offense, which uh, beats our benefit. Yeah. Have they warned you not to hit him too hard? Who? Coaches. They have been best of the Hey, man. You get in between them lines, you get the ball in your hand. I don't give a damn what anybody says. It's time to work. So now nah, I don't think I don't think we'd be able to hit him too hard, but I'm gonna hit it down. <laughs> and can I ask you about the centers? They've been rotating John and, mm -hmm. and Brett together. Can you just talk a little bit about each one and, and what you've seen from them since you went across from them? Well, obviously, uh, Jalapio was a guy who was on practice squad last year who worked his butt off, um, and you can tell the coaching staff likes him a whole lot just because of his aggression. He's a strong guy, and um, if we're gonna be that ground and pound team, then I think that plays exactly into his strengths. Um, and again, he worked, he worked his butt off and he earned you know, the reps that he's getting now. 
and everybody knows Brett. Brett was starting last year. He, he brings that toughness and that same type of strength to the line. But he also can move. Jalapio can move, too. So um, that's an interesting battle that I've been watching myself just to see the guys rotate in and rotate out. So um, yeah, I get to watch it firsthand. How about, next, more, year, how about next to you with B.J. Hill, obviously a guy who's mm-hmm. got some first team reps here, impression of him from the first couple practices? He, he can play. He can play, and that's the first thing our uh, defensive line coach told me when I got here. He said, you're going to love 95. He said he can play, so I got out here, and I'm watching him. The guy, He's strong, and he has some wiggle to him, and he has some move to him. So um, that's somebody else who I think with some time and a little more experience would be a dominant player in this league, as, uh, as well as Dalvin Thomason, who I think could take the next step this year.